Final preparations underway for what promises to be an epic clash between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Los Angeles Rams in the National Football League Super Bowl. To say that excitement is running high would be an understatement. Just look at these Bengals fans celebrating their team's first trip to the championship game since 1988. In LA, Rams fans are snapping up souvenirs. I'm happy and I'm thankful and grateful that we can support our team, that we can come out and be Ramley family. The game will be held on the Rams' home turf, the futuristic new SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, just outside L.A. The venue was chosen before the season began. The football is going to be great, and we've got some amazing stars in the game, and, you know, really good stories around that, so we're just really excited. Fans are already flocking to events and exhibits in Los Angeles in advance of the game, like this one called the NFL Experience. So just how much are fans willing to pay for a ticket to the big game? The answer may astonish you. Ticket sales search engine SeatGeek is keeping track. The range we sort of see right now, at least, is you can kind of get in the door for around, say, $6,500 a ticket. Um, and then if you want to sit, say, behind the bench, you know, in those VIP seats, you're going to pay maybe $30,000 a ticket. Super Bowl TV commercials will cost up to six and a half million dollars for a one minute ad this year. This beer commercial was directed by last year's Oscar winning filmmaker, Chloe Zhao. Unlike last year's Super Bowl, when COVID-19 restrictions limited crowd size, the 70,000 plus seat place is expected to be packed. The league will place masks on every seat and wearing them will be mandatory. Everybody can holler and scream and celebrate and root on our hometown team safely behind a K95 or a N95 mask. About 100 million people are expected to watch Super Bowl 56 on TV and online. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Inglewood, California.